There are 17 MS disease modifying therapies on the market today, up from zero just 20 years ago. Deciding which DMT to take is a big decision and you'll probably end up taking more than one over the course of your disease. And I'm gonna take you through the details of taking them right now. What's up y'all, I'm Damien. I was diagnosed with MS in 2016 and have been making content about the disease ever since. If this is your first time here and you want to learn more about MS while laughing and gaining a sense of community, start by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss any updates. Disease modifying therapies or DMTs are currently the best way to slow the progression of multiple sclerosis by reducing the frequency and severity of relapses and exacerbations reducing the development of new lesions, and slowing down overall disease progression and disability from the disease. Funny thing about them though is they just slow MS down. They don't actually provide any symptom relief so you might not feel better. Just some of the wind is taken out of MS's sails, so to speak. It's like if this is what it's like having MS and you get the right DMT, it'll be like, well, this is much more manageable in the long run, I guess. Thanks to Sabri. There are 17 DMTs to choose from these days. And about 17 years ago, there weren't any DMTs at all. So thank goodness we live in the future. Since MS varies greatly on how it affects different people and the symptoms presented and the rate of progression and the frequency and severity of relapses or exacerbations, when considering which treatment is best for you, make sure you talk to your doctor about what's right for your unique situation and weigh all the potential benefits and risks from each treatment. So how a particular drug works in one person might be very different from how it works in another. Things to consider when choosing a DMT are their costs, routes of administration, side effects, and safety concerns. Clearly this is gonna be the most fun vlog ever. Yay! First things first, cost. These drugs ain't cheap, baby. You saw me go through this with my own infusion experience and getting stuck with a $68,000 bill. The costs vary depending on your health insurance and many drug companies have copay assistance programs to help cover the cost of the medications. As John Strum put me on in episode 105 of the Real Talk MS podcast, the first DMTs came on the market in the 1990s and cost between eight dollars and $11,000 a year. Today, these same drugs cost more than $80,000 a year. I thought competition drives prices down. According to, I don't know, basic economic theory on market competition, like the more competitors you have, the less you can charge for your product or service. In the 90s, there were less than a handful of MS drugs. Now they're 17 and the prices on all of them just continue to rise. For example, in 2006, Medicare paid $397 million for MS meds. By 2016, they cost $4.4 billion. Effectiveness. Some DMTs are more mild and some way more potent. And that's a factor you gotta consider too. Do you go for the big guns right after diagnosis or do you use something more mild and work your way up? That's something you have to decide for yourself. Like at first, I wanted the more mild medication, but as I kept walking down the road of life with MS, I was like, okay, okay, just forget the mild and safe stuff, doc. It's time to shoot this damn thing in the face. Give me the big guns. No matter what you choose, there is more and more data to suggest that early treatment, like early within the first five years early treatment, is the most critical time frame to get treated to help modify the course of your disease for the better. Roots of administration. You got your subcutaneous injections, your intramuscular injections, your IV infusions, and your orals. Some folk know they can't deal with sticking themselves with needles all the time, and so an oral med is their first choice. Like, at least there's an auto injector these days to make like that a little easier, because 15 years ago, you had to do the needle yourself, and he had to be like, okay, and, and then like, that is a whole nother thing. Some folk can't remember to take an oral every day and they go the infusion route to go to an infusion center once a month or twice a year to get their treatment. It's all a matter of personal preference. Side effects. They can be as mild like headache or depression or as serious as a liver injury and cancer. Yeah, dude, you thought you had a lot going on with MS and now you got cancer. 
It's like playing whack-a-mole, but with like terrible health effects. First you whack MS and then seizures pop up. And then you whack the seizures and then the herpes pop up. And then you whack the herpes and then that basal cell carcinoma pop up. Uh, the pursuit of wellness is paved with pain, poop, and way more serious diseases. Welcome to your new life, friends. Here's your mallet. For me, side effects was the main thing that went into choosing a DMT, because at first I went really mild with no side effects. But as I was working my way up the potency chain, one of those medicines, the day after I took it, man, it made me feel like I had the worst hangover ever in existence. And I didn't even drink. So I had to stop taking that drug, because it was all the pain without the party. Thank goodness Ogrevis came along and took me out of that hole, because... Ooh, I mean, I might gotta whack that breast cancer mold, but I'll cross that bridge when I get there. There are way too many side effects and safety concerns for each drug to list here, so go to the link in the description to get a thorough list of all the downsides to the major medications. Something else to consider are comorbidities. A point highlighted in bonus episode day two of John Strum's visit to the 2019 Ektrums conference in Sweden which happens to be the world's largest annual gathering devoted to basic and clinical research in multiple sclerosis. On one of those panels, Dr. Ruth Ann Marie, professor of medicine and community health sciences at the University of Manitoba, underscored the importance of treating comorbidities among people living with multiple sclerosis. Comorbidities are just a fancy word for other health conditions that people with MS may be dealing with including depression, anxiety, and migraine headache, which has been linked to an increase in relapse rates. Bottom line, comorbidities, or all that other junk you live with, contribute to worse outcomes among people living with MS. And being able to identify and effectively treat comorbidities can make a real difference in the quality of life and the well-being of people with MS. No matter what DMT you choose, the key is to start early. As was highlighted in bonus episode three of John Strum's visit to the 2019 Ektrums Conference, his guest, Dr. Bruce Bebo, Executive Vice President of Research at the National MS Society, says that there are so many studies that show that people who began treatment within the first five years of diagnosis have a better outcome down the line, no matter what they took. Taking a DMT as soon as possible after diagnosis can improve your quality of life in ways that are difficult to see in advance. Taking a DMT as soon as possible after diagnosis can improve your quality of life in so many ways that are often difficult to see in advance. So if you're not on a therapy because you're one of the many people that rightfully so go, well, I didn't think it was doing anything, call your neurologist and have that conversation with them. As someone living with MS, you have a responsibility to do everything you can to fight the disease. That's what this channel is about. Lifestyle changes like eating a healthy diet, choosing not to smoke, exercise, or at least some kind of physical activity are all important and proven ways to help yourself. But first and foremost, the best way to improve your disease course is to make sure you're taking advantage of the DMTs available to you today. What DMT are you taking, and which ones have you taken previously, and which ones are you taking right now? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, bye!